micro fly rod and an elk hair caddis this round. Well, we took the micro fly rod out, brought one fly, an elk hair caddis, put um, some floating on it, and we headed out to Potato Lakes in the back pond. You can see that uh, we start hooking up fairly quickly with these bluegill, or maybe a mix of bluegill and other things. Here's another shot of uh, one taking. Started out uh, a little bit slow, uh, about the first minute or so, where they were just kind of looking at the uh, fly, not really wanting to commit, and then uh, had a good run for about another 10 minutes or so. Uh, ended up just fishing about, uh, total about 20 minutes this morning. Kind of tied up with things, with uh, other commitments and whatnot. Bottom line, we were able to find a little break this morning and hit the pond. There's another one. Did see some bass and other fish um, chasing bait fish in the shallows. Didn't get one uh, to hit. Uh, did see one bass take a look at the uh, fly, but you know, on the micro fly rod with a little fly like that, weren't expecting any uh, bruisers, but uh, did uh, at least get these guys about the size of your palm, uh, your hand, uh, if not uh, just a little bit bigger or smaller in some cases. Uh, but definitely much bigger than the ones that we usually catch in the feeder creek. There's another one there. And you definitely liking the uh, uh, concept of the micro fly rod, able to hit different places, keep it in the car, uh, have it in your backpack, and it's ready to go. So uh, good stuff here. You can see there's another run here, and there's a view of the micro fly rod. And there's the uh, elk or caddis that we used. All right, cool stuff. Till next time, we'll catch y'all later. And good luck and good fishing.